I've always wondered how well laptop cooling fans work. Now, they have to work. They've been around for a long time. People keep on buying them. But really, how well can they actually work? Here's my gaming laptop. If you look at the back, you can see there, there are a few areas where there's like holes in the plastic, but not really a lot of room for anything to get in. Obviously, there's a couple of fans inside. And on, on this unit, it's hooked up to some cooling coils. So I get how the fans inside work. But when you put this on a cooling fan, it's just kind of blowing against the plastic. I mean, it's not actually cooling the air down. It's just moving the air around. So how effective can that really be? So to find out, let's get the beefiest laptop fan we can find. This one's got variable fan control. You can see the fan in here. This thing is massive. Here is the test that I ran. So I turned my computer on and just as a benchmark, I measured the CPU. I did it in Fahrenheit, not Celsius, just because it's easier to see the temperature difference. As a baseline with the CPU, we have 170 Fahrenheit and we have 126 Fahrenheit for the GPU. Now, as soon as I turn the fan on to the lowest setting at 300, it drops the CPU temperature by about 10 degrees. So yeah, it's it's doing something. It's obviously working here at this point. I double that up to 600 and now it's 150 degrees, another 10 degree drop. So now I go up to 900 and it drops all the way down to 114 degrees. This was a massive drop. This is the biggest drop that I saw. Then when I changed the fan speed to 1200, it just dropped a couple degrees, went up to 1500, dropped it a couple more degrees, 1800, one more degree, and 2100, it was about this thing. All right, so what did we learn here? For one, yes, a laptop fan absolutely does work. For this model in particular, 900 seemed to be the sweet spot that had the biggest drop, anything above 900, and it really was not a significant difference. One thing of note, when I was testing the computer, I did do a minor stress test on it as I was running this, but I didn't do anything significant. I wasn't playing a game. I wasn't doing any GPU benchmark or anything like that. So if I was really running the computer or GPU hot, it may have made more of a difference at those higher speeds. But realistically for this model, I would keep it between 600 and 900. That's going to work just fine. This unit was sent to me so I could make this video and do this test. I got to say, I'm really impressed with how well it actually works. And this is a really cool fan. It has nice LEDs that go around it. I like that it has the variable fan speed. And on the side here, you can actually plug this into your computer and use this kind of as a dock. You can plug in your mouse and keyboard and stuff like that to this. You can also flip the legs out and put this at an angle. That's really nice. The back also comes off. It has a filter. So if you want to take that off and clean it or replace it, you can do that. Something really important that I want to bring up is I do IT for a living. I have replaced so many fans on laptop computers because when they run hot, the fans go crazy, they collect dust, and then after a while, they just don't work as well or they make noise. This is not healthy for your computer. This is going to degrade the life of your computer. Having a fan like this, as I have shown, helps out a ton. Keeping your laptop cool prolongs the life of your laptop, and not having to have the internal fans run so much keeps your fans lasting longer. If you do video editing or gaming and you want to preserve the life of your laptop, this is a great way to do it. This thing is loud. You will want noise canceling headphones when you use this, unless you like the sound of a fan, then just enjoy the nice hum.